Greetings, brethren. It looks like I got uh, some feedback by a, a follower of Jack's Max 77 or, uh, and uh, a follower of uh, GES. Now, this, this individual is called Justin Ellers. Now, I'm not uh, uh, making this video to pick on him or single him out. Um, and also, I'm not making a, this video because of his criticism. I mean, be be critical of me all you want. That's not that's not why I'm making this video. Just I just uh, hope by uh, making this video, I would uh, put um, wake uh, wake him up a little bit that to what he's uh, you know believing in. Now. Uh, he, he uh, comments here, fantastic, taking scripture out of context. Hope God takes you out. So he, he claims that uh, I take scripture out of context and that uh, God takes me out for um, <clears throat> saying that you have to believe who Jesus is and believe what he did for you. Um, I think is more or less that uh, he disagrees that you have to believe in the resurrection for a particular reason. It's not more, it's more of um, that uh, I preach that you have to believe in the resurrection than uh, I don't think the problem is that uh, he's disagreeing on the deity of Christ. But I reply back, what is wrong with what I said? So don't you think you need to believe Jesus is God to be saved? So don't you think you have to believe in the death, burial, and resurrection to be saved? So you don't think you even have to hear about the preaching of the cross to be saved? And he gives me uh, a line of scriptures saying, uh, Mark, uh, so it's uh, the disagreement. He preaches that you don't even have to believe in the resurrection because the apostles did not understand, did not believe, well, he claims that they did not believe in the resurrection and uh i would say that uh, they, they heard of jesus told them that he would rise again but they didn't fully understand the greater scheme of it but uh mark 9 verse 30 and it says that and they departed then to pass from galilee and that he would not he would not that any man should know it for he taught his disciples and said unto him, The Son of Man is delivered unto the hands of men, that they shall kill him. And after that he is killed, he should rise on the third day. But they understand, understand not the saying, and was afraid to ask him. Also another one, that he should uh, be put to death and rise on the third day. But they did not understand. Um... At the empty tomb. Um, and again, um, when he said he story this temple and, I, and in three days I'll raise it up. So it says, when did the apostles believe the death, burial, and resurrection? Over 3.5, three and a half years, at minimum after they have been saved. So why did when did the apostle, he's questioning me, when did the apostle ever believe in the death, burial, and resurrection in the earthly ministry? It was, it was an until uh, like a minimum of three and a half years after they were saved and before they even learned the, um, learned about it. Um, so I just said, well, you just quoted it. Uh, John 20, 19, 22. He either didn't remember the scripture, or they that told him about the rest, and they didn't understand the meaning. I would say they they were made aware, but they, it didn't become a reality for them. They didn't understand that he must uh, do this to fulfill the scriptures. No, they didn't understand. Uh, but they weren't uh, in earthly his earthly ministry. It was. Uh, they weren't saved, of course. Yeah, you got that one. They, they weren't saved. Um, and it was 
uh, during his earthly ministry under the, the gospel of grace, that was the kingdom of God. They must believe in the coming Messiah, believe in him for eternal life. Um, and the coming kingdom, they understood the coming kingdom. So, yeah. Says, so replies back, me, don't I love people that find work around and still believe in the scripture? You can't believe what you don't understand. I said, well, I don't, sorry, didn't under, take the time to understand what you were saying. I thought, well, he, yeah, they, they knew, they had to know that uh, in some type in their life that they, they understood that they believed the resurrection, they believed that he rose from the dead. But he meant, he meant that during his earthly ministry. So, yeah, during his earthly ministry, no. They believe the, the coming kingdom, the coming Messiah and his kingdom. But that's, that doesn't negate it. Um, he quotes 931. Yeah, they didn't. Uh, so Jesus told them about the rising on the third day. They, they were told, but they didn't uh, come, it didn't come to reality for them until later. Um, of course, um, I mean, they, they, Jesus already told them, he said, he quotes Mark chapter nine, they were afraid to ask him what, what exactly meant. That's what they, they were, they were afraid of. And they, they were still worrying about the kingdom, the coming kingdom, because that's the, that's what the Messiah should, that's what they had, the, you know, the scriptures testified to the Messiah, you know, the setting up the kingdom. Uh, after all, they're Jews, I mean, but uh, <laughs> um, in one chapter earlier, he did tell them, uh, this was the second time they he was expounding on that he must be delivered. So he says, one chapter earlier, he says, and he began to teach them the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed. And after the third, three days, rise again. And he spake, saying openly. And Peter took them and began to rebuke him. And he had turned them about and looked on his disciples and rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savest not the things that be of God, but the things be of men. So, what? how I take it, that because of Peter's reaction, you know, they, they, they treasured him being with them. They, they wor on, worshipped his, uh, him more than his, um, his great uh, the 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 objective that he had to fulfill that that's where they were sorrowful like uh, they were they were sorrowful that he he was past he didn't know they, were, they took them their lord but they remembered um but yeah um Luke 24 there, there's a parallel passage. Uh, the angels appeared that um, and they entered and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came past, they were much perplexed. There about, behold, two men stood by him in shining garments that they were afraid and bound down their faces to the earth and said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in the in Galilee? Saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of, of sinful men, and be crucified on the third day, and rise again. And they remember his words. And return from the sepulchre and all these things, uh, told all the things unto all the breast. Um, and it came to pass together and reason. Um, see.
And Jesus himself drew near and went with them, but their eyes were holden that they should not know him. He said unto him, What manner of communications are, are these that ye have one another, one uh, have one to another as ye walk are sad? Why are you sad? And he, one of them, whose name was uh, Cleof, uh, Cleophas, answered said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem? Hast thou not known the things which has come to pass in these days? And they said unto him, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was was which was a prophet mighty indeed before God and all people, um, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and him crucified. But he trusted that he had he had been which he had should redeem Israel. Beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, certain women also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the um, supper, he was alive. Um, then he said unto him, O fool, slow, slow heart, to believe all the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have to suffer these things to enter into glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto him all the scriptures, the things concerning himself. So that uh, it, it was... Uh, they didn't understand the, the greater scheme of it, that they, he, this must be fulfilled to enter his glory, to, to redeem his people. They're still thinking earthly. Yeah, of course. Um, but the, no, of course, uh, it's um, they, they, and during his earthly ministry, um, it was the preaching of the coming kingdom, the Messiah and setting up the kingdom. Yes, they, they had the, the, um, the idea that the, this uh, ruler would uh, deliver the, the, the nation of Israel. And um, so that's what they had in mind. And that's the, the kingdom gospel. But the, the, the gospel of grace, the, the, the one that they have to believe the resurrection, uh, the covenant, the, the covenant that uh, Jesus would establish wasn't established yet. But during his earthly ministry, it was just the promise that they had to believe in. You're getting that uh, confused, uh, not ri rightly dividing. The, all they had to believe is the, the, pro the promise the, of the coming Messiah. Believe in him for eternal life. So it was the kingdom gospel, Matthew 3, 2, and saying, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So they, they were looking for the coming Messiah. But uh, to us, um, we believe that he is the savior. Ma Matthew four seventeen. for that time, Jesus began to preach to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Luke 10, 9, this is to heal the sick, to, to, to heal the sick, to, to give sight to the blind. And if I, I say they, these things happen, these miracles happen, the kingdom of God has come on nigh unto you. So the coming kingdom, that they would repent, the Israel would repent. That's, that's uh, the, John was making the way for the repentance of the, for the repentance of the people, you know. Luke 17, 20 and 21. And when he demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, the Pharisees demanded this, when the kingdom of God should come. And he answered them, said, the kingdom of God cometh not with our conversation, not the, the ways that they expected. Neither shall they say, lo, here, lo, there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. It's a, it's a spiritual kingdom. In the, in this in this um, age, Luke uh, one sixty nine, and he hath raised up the horn of salvation for us, the house of his servant David. So they're looking for this uh, great ruler, the great son of David, ruler Jesse, this great Messiah that should come out of uh, 
you know, the house of David, the root of Jesse, this great ruler, horn of salvation, to save his people, deliver the nation of Israel, the children of Israel. That's what they're looking for. Um, Luke 1, 31 to 39, Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and he shall call him named Jesus. Jesus, and he shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give him unto him uh, the throne of his father David, and shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom shall, there shall be no end. That does mean uh, not today that um, that was just his earthly ministry. Uh, um, the, the upcoming reigning new covenant was not established because Jesus did not pay for the sins of the people to redeem them from the law. To redeem them from the law, uh, yet he had to pay th that that blood sacrifice. So now we being in the church age, that's what we have to believe in, not this coming Messiah. If you're consistent, that uh, well, the apostles didn't believe. So whatever the apostles believe sh should be good enough for me. It was good enough for the apostles. It sh should be good enough for me. Well, you're not right, right, rightly dividing. You're taking from the, the 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 gospel of the coming kingdom that you just believe the coming Messiah. Believe in Jesus, and you shall have eternal life. But is this new covenant that we shall believe the the death of a son? Uh, <laughs> that uh, his blood uh, paid for your sins wasn't established yet until after his sacrifice. So it said, so I said, but yeah, in Jesus' earthly ministry, people are saying, get the, the kingdom of God because Jesus died on the cross yet. He's saying his blood established in the covenant. Hebrews 9, 16 and 17. For where there's a testament, there's also necessary to be a death of the testator. For testator is a force of after men are dead. Otherwise, no strength uh, at all while the testimony liveth. So we being now in the church age, I mean, d directly after, after, you know, the day of Pentecost, directly after he ascended, Peter started preaching the resurrection of Christ. So no, they didn't have to believe if right after he ascended, right after his resurrection and stuff, that the, once they understood that the, uh, this new covenant is established now that uh, they didn't understand, uh, preach the resurrection. Uh, Peter started early, uh, right after the, the day of Pentecost. And it says, Acts 2, 31 to 32. And seeing this before it spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul, not, soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. Then Jesus hath God raised up, whereof we are all witness. So they started preaching right after ascension. So there has to be something for that. So you're not rightly dividing that, uh, well, you don't have to believe that he rose again with the dead. Um, you're, you're, you're in the kingdom gospel. But yeah, I wanted to play this. To go on to the rest of this. For he taught the disciples and said unto them, The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of men, and they shall kill him, and after that he shall that he's killed, he shall rise again the third day. But they understood not the things that he they were that sorry, they understood not that saying, and were afraid to ask him, and then they could go over here and dispute about who's gonna be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So they still think he's going to, you know, reign right away. They don't understand he's gonna die. If they're saved, why they say it? Because they believe they believe the message of light. You know, what is, did Jesus just leave something out here? He'll say, Oh, Moses lived up a certain wilderness. Well, this, this well, he understood they were gonna he was gonna die, but
But uh, when they were told this, they just then it didn't become reality afterwards. They didn't know the greater scheme. They understood not. Yeah, they didn't understand. So they weren't saved by that, that gospel until he established, you know, until he died on the cross. You know, after after he died on the cross, that's when other than that you have to believe in the resurrection. I was trying to stop it. He just said that you have to believe Jesus in eternal security, that the gift of God is eternal security. Edward has a problem with Jesus said. The gift of God that he was talking about is not is not eternal security. No assurance of salvation. That's not the gift of God. The gift of God is eternal life. Romans 6, 23, for the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. But uh, yeah, he quoted 4.10, is, you know, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the gift of God. He was talking about Jesus. The answer said unto him, if thou knewest the gift of God, who... It is that saith to thee, give me drink, and thou wouldest have asked him, and he would give, have given thee living water. So what, what was he talking about? The gift of God. It wasn't that he was saying that uh, if, if you knew what I was, who asked you, uh, who saith to thee, who asked you for water, um, he would give you the gift to God, give you a, a eternal security, assurance of salvation. No, the gift to God is the Holy Spirit. Well, it's eternal life, but the, the, what he was saying, the life shall spring up like a fountain, and that life it is in the Spirit. Um, John 7. Well, it's it's about the same thing. Um, it's the Holy Spirit regenerates you and re makes you born again. So, John 7, 38, 39, He that believeth on me, and as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow, flow rivers of living water. But he spake of the Spirit, which they that believe on him shall receive. For the Holy Ghost was not given yet, uh, yet given. Because Jesus is not yet glorified. So. so I just want to sh show you this. That uh, you'll see the, the, the fruit of Jax Max 77. That he believes the, the kingdom gospel. That the, well, if whatever the, see the apostles didn't understand the resurrection uh, in his earthly ministry. Um, so that doesn't mean any that we don't have to believe the resurrection. And um, <laughs> that, I think that is what his big thing, but uh, he says he, he prays that uh, he would um, say, that he hopes that God takes me out. Why? Because I preach the preaching of the cross, the Christ crucified, the object of your faith. 
and that you have to believe who Jesus is, the Son of God, not Jesus, that just some some um, random Jesus, random person that's named Jesus. Uh, is it good enough to believe in the, in the Mormon? Uh, Mormon Jesus, that he is a created being, um, that he is not, not Messiah, not the Son of God, the, the Muslim Jesus, where he is just a prophet and just a human. No, you have to believe in this, and that he is the Son of God, that he, he is deity, and what he has accomplished you, for you on, on the cross. Not the king. <laughs> they don't believe the kingdom gospel today. Why they didn't understand it? They they didn't. Uh, you know the, the apostles. That was the gospel of the king coming kingdom. You can't take the gospel of the coming kingdom and put it for us today. You know because um, how can they be saved? By the same gospel we were in when that uh, that covenant wasn't even established yet. You have to learn to rightly divide. It was not established yet. So let, let's say you go, you go back a couple thousand years. Oh, Abraham wasn't saved because he didn't believe in Jesus. <laughs> or I don't know. <laughs> Adam wasn't saved because he didn't believe in Jesus. You can't just stick and pick and choose. That's coming the coming Messiah. That wasn't established yet. Now we have to believe in the resurrection. So I hope you, you kind of wake up to this. How can you? How can they be expected to believe in something for salvation if that wasn't even even offered yet? It was not the covenant that we have to believe today that we enter in by believing in the blood of Jesus, having put in his faith. And as, um, so, Whom hath God has set forth to be appropriation through faith in his blood, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, who put who put his faith in his blood, that was appropriation, appeasing the wrath, the appease the, the judgment for the remission of sins. We are not simply believing in the coming Messiah. So you got to wake up to this. You must believe that he paid for your sins. Not just believe in the promise that uh, you believe in some random person named Jesus will give that if you believe in some random person that you'll go to heaven. <laughs> then believe the Muslim Jesus. Just believe that he's a prophet. That'll be good enough. That'll be good enough. Just believe that he's a prophet. Do we have eternal life just because we believe that he's a prophet? No, but it's because we believe that he's the son of God, the one that should uh, pay for us, uh, deliver us for, from our sins through faith in his blood. That is a covenant that was established. So you can't just do that. So, um, so I hope that this kind of wakes of this person up, but they probably won't ever see this. I don't, I'm not sure. But um, I just wanted to show, um, not to pick on him, to single him out, but in case he does see it, to wake, to wake him up, that you must believe in in uh, the resurrection. Otherwise, Romans, Romans 3 is false too, is work salvation too. Oh, anyways, I just wanted to just, um, share with you the fruit of Jack's Max 77 and the 
fruit of um, GES and then bypassing to, to um, wake this person up if he so, so happens to see it. So I hope this helps you and thank you, take care.